Good morning, Rainbow Room. Okay, so today we're gonna make our very own spectroscopes. Very cool. So here I've got all my supplies ready and there's a few steps to this. So <clears throat> first you need your empty paper towel roll. Here it is. Then you're gonna need either a crafting knife, which looks just like this, or, and this part is the one where whoever's helping you with this project, they're gonna have to do this part. It's just a small little step. If not, you can use your scissors. It's just a little harder to do with the scissors. So if you have one of these, that'd be awesome. Um, you're gonna need some tape. You're gonna need an old or blank CD. So this is a very old CD that I found cleaning out and it's all scratched up so if you don't want it or an old movie or an old CD that just doesn't work anymore and you don't want this is a great way to recycle it and then you're gonna need a pencil some scissors um, if you're going to paint you're gonna need paintbrush and paint if you're gonna use markers or colors or pastels you can use that instead and then you're gonna need some cardboard just a small piece I have this big piece because I'm recycling it I'm just using it, but you just need a small, a small little piece, like about that big. Okay, so first step first, you can decorate your paper towel roll. So if you're gonna paint it, right now is that step. You're gonna get your paint, you're gonna get a big paintbrush, and you're just gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint mine the parrot blue. So I'm gonna paint mine blue. If you don't have paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons, whatever you like. So, step one, decorate your tube. All right, my room, so I'm almost done with my step one. I've been painting it. You don't have to paint the inside or anything, just the outside. This is just for decoration. I am almost done. And then once you are done, you are going to let it dry. All right, so I'm gonna let mine dry. And then once it's completely dry, it's almost dry right now. Once it's completely dry, I'll come back so we can work on step two. All right, so now my paper roll is completely dry, as you can see, it's a bright blue color. So this is the part where you're gonna have to ask someone to help you, but whoever's helping you, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, at the bottom of your paper towel, you're gonna draw like a sad face. Like a really long, sad face, just like that. And then you're gonna follow, you're gonna poke a hole. Nope. You're gonna poke a hole just like that and then you're gonna cut along the side, sad face. Let me fix my blade because it's a little loose, which is not safe, so let's tighten that. Okay, and then you're just gonna cut along all the way until you get to the to the end of your little happy little sad face all right so I just finished cutting it and you can see it's all the way bottom now still in the same step you're gonna turn it around in exactly opposite from the sad face you're gonna draw a little A little, let's see if my friends know what shape this is. A little rectangle. And that little rectangle is where you're gonna see out of. You can, you can ask your whoever's helping you if you can draw the rectangle and you can draw your own. And then whoever is helping you is going to do the tricky cutting part. Just cause this is a little, a little tricky and you wanna be safe when you're doing this. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut around here. All right, friends, so I have cut out my little peephole. I made it just a little bigger. It kind of looks like a square now, but that's fine. And it wants you want it to be exactly opposite from the sad face. So now, next step, you're gonna get your piece of cardboard or cardstock paper. Cardstock is just hard paper, like thick paper. So if you have any thick paper at home or if you have cardboard, old cardboard from a cereal box or from a pasta box or you know, trying to recycle but you're gonna get your poster board and you're gonna get paper I mean pencil and this is 
something you can do, my friends. So you're gonna hold your paper towel. Here, let me move this down a little bit so we can all see it. All right, that's I think as good as I can get. Like, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna put your paper on top of your, you're gonna put your paper towel roll on top of your cardstock paper. You're gonna hold it kind of gently because you don't wanna squish it, or you can hold it at the top. And you're gonna trace around it, just like when you trace your hand, or you're trying to chase a shape, you're gonna trace around it, like that. And then it's not gonna be a perfect circle or anything. And then, what you're going to do is you're gonna grab your scissors and always pointing away from your body, you're gonna cut out that circle. Okay, and if you don't cut it on the line, that's okay. You can cut it bigger, okay? You don't wanna cut it smaller because it needs to cover your, your toilet paper roll. So you can always cut it bigger. Just try not to cut it smaller. And you see how I'm rotating my paper, not my scissors. So as you can see where I drew it, I didn't cut exactly on that line. Doesn't have to be perfect but I did make it a little bigger because I didn't want to make it smaller. Okay, so once you've done that part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your, your circle and we're gonna draw a thin, long rectangle. Oh, I don't know if my friends can see this. Let me put it back up here. Oh, there it is. You're gonna just draw a skinny rectangle, just like that. And then you're gonna have to cut it out. So you can ask someone to help you. You can either try to cut it with scissors or you can cut it with a, with the craft knife. So I'm gonna do it with the craft knife. Okay. So let's see. And then you're gonna just pop it out, just like that. Okay, and then not on the side where your people and the sad faces, you're gonna flip it over, okay? So these are at the bottom, and you're gonna put this on the top, and then you're going to tape it, okay? So you can grab some tape and tape it around. You're just gonna grab tape like that and tape it down, just like that. And you're gonna do that all around. All right, rainbow room. So once, you have taped your top circle with a little rectangle to your paper towel roll. You are almost done. Then the next step you gotta do is get your CD. And my CD has a shiny part on both sides. But if your CD has a picture on this side and then a shiny side, you're gonna wanna put the shiny side facing up, okay? So then you're gonna grab your paper and right where you put the sad face, you're gonna put your CD right in there, okay? And try to push it down all the way so it touches both ends, perfect. And then you're gonna use your peephole to look through it and you're gonna point the top end, the rectangle, up to the sky. You wanna do it in a very light, in a bright area, but you don't wanna point it to the sun because that's gonna hurt your eyes. So you don't wanna point this exactly to the sun, but you do wanna point it to the sky. And once you point it up to the sky and you look through, you should see a rainbow. I see a tiny, tiny rainbow because I'm doing it inside my house right now, so there's not a lot of light. But a spectroscope is not a telescope. A telescope you use to see stars at night in space. A spectroscope you use to see different variations of colors. So you can see every color of the rainbow. So if you take this outside into your backyard, front yard, or on your walk, you take your spectroscope and you look through it, you should be able to see a ray of colors or rainbows. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed your own, making your own spectroscope and have a great day.